What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jam, and today we are playing Esper Midrange. It went seven and one in a best of three in the pizza box open. Get, ended up getting second place, and we're gonna try it out in best of one. The sideboard is over here with more removal spells like cut down. In fact, we are for best of one. We're gonna take out this main deck spell pierce and just throw in the main deck cut down. What's the worst that could happen, right? Um, but if you do want to play the exact list in best of three or best of one and try it out for yourself, this one spell pierce is the one cut down. Um, just, just a hedge against, um, soldiers and a hedge against mono red, but there's one planes and one island under our face. We have two destroy evils, four make disappears, two go for the throat, two bank buster. We have four copies of Denic, Pious Apprentice, four Rafine, one Kaido, four wedding announcement, three wandering emperor, three shieldred, and two AO the Dawn Sky. We have three copies of Plaza of Heroes here. Uh, one Iganjo, one Odawara, one Tekanuma for our other uh, lands that we can, you know, our ability lands. And we have a interesting card here in Fairy Vandal. Uh, I don't usually see this card in Esper decks, but this one was in the deck list. It's a two mana one, two flash flyer. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a one, one counter on Fairy Vandal. So similar to like a, a Ledger Shredder type of effect, but it doesn't actually loot. It just puts a one, one counter on it when you draw an additional card. And you can do that a bunch of ways, of course, that you know, um, with through Bankbuster, Rafine, Kaido, Wedding Announcement in the deck already. So anyway, I hope you like this deck list and I hope you want to try it out for best of one for yourself. And if you're in best of three, try it out seven and one. Uh, I mean, what are you going to say about seven and one? I mean, what are you going to do? Say it's not good. <laughs> uh, it's like the top three, one of the top three best decks in the format. So we're going to try to see if this build is good in best of one. And it all starts right now. Let's go ahead. We don't have black mana, but we don't black any card in our black cards in our hand. So we're going to go ahead and keep this. Go with deserted beach first. I don't know if I want to cast Fairy Vandal or Record or Bankbuster. I haven't made up my mind yet. Depends on what I'm playing against. If it's like Mono Red or like Mono Black, maybe I'll cast Denic. Okay, now I'm not casting anything. The cool part about uh, this specific draw is that if they don't cast anything to make disappear, we can Fairy Vandal. Okay, we're definitely going to use this then. No Bankbusters allowed here. And maybe we just get to hold it up again? I don't think I want them to resolve their wedding announcement. Oh, wow. It's a Leyline Binding deck. Can I get my Spell Pierce back? I don't want to cast Wedding Announcement until we have five lands. I would love a land, but since we have, since we don't have to make disappear something, because if we could, now that we have drawn go for the throat, we don't have black mana though. We can't actually deal with something that resolves. I think I'm just going to cast this. No make disappear, no negate, no negate on the other side. We'll see if they play a shielder or something. That was a pretty hard decision. I didn't really want to leave my make disappear unable to be cast this turn. But they might just leyline binding wedding announcement now. But I've already made the one one out of it, so I'm not like super upset about it. The Yavamaya Coast. What is this gonna be like? A Wandering Emperor? I mean, I'm attacking with two things because I want to draw a card to try to hit our Black Source and hit a fourth land. Nothing. I think I'm just passing. It also puts a counter on Fairy Vandal. Called it. More weddings. I just wanna I just wanna land. I don't even care if it's a black source. Carpluzen Forest. What do you got a minus this? Really? Clean up this town. I'll be your shield. Bankbuster, Shieldred. I mean, I gotta draw lands. Put a counter on Fairy Vandal and hope to draw a Black Source. Jesus, Jesus, no, no, please draw lands. Okay, this would be Spell Pierce. I mean, our Fairy Vandal's a 4-5. They probably have a bunch of Leyline Bindings in their deck, though. Topiary Stomper. Do they attack? No, they don't attack with Bank Buster. They have basic lands in this deck? Wow. I just want a fourth land. Can I just get a fourth land, please? 
This topiary stamper can block. Finally. We still can't go for the throat, though, because it's not black. They probably have the card that says... Deal minus X minus X. I'm drawing a card here just to put a counter on Vandal. And try to draw land. Well, I, I guess the land's just never happening. A, an extra land. Make a 2-2. Make a They'd probably play Farewell, right? Would not be surprised if I got Farewells. But they're dead in two turns to our 5-6 Fairy Vandal. They gotta get rid of that. We're gonna lay down binding it, I guess. We're gonna attack, I'm gonna take it. Now they farewell. Okay, ley line binding, they get rid of our fairy vandal. Alright, black source, go for the throat stomper, hit them to six. They might have, like, Greater Tanuki. That's a 6-5 Trample. Finally, I drew a black mana. Alright. We've done well in this world. So we go for the Throat this now. Because I don't want them to crew this on their own turn. And attack us with it. Because we're not attacking through the 4-4 anyway. And then we'll cast Wedding Announcement and make a bunch of 2-2s. I mean, 3-3s. So now we get good double blocks on the Stomper. Herb Migration. Okay, they make five five three threes. They can't uh, they can't attack. Oh my gosh, they're attacking through our six six? It was six six bankbuster. Wow. I guess I guess it has a, a thing on it. I should have triple blocked, actually. Leyline Binding's a card. Make Disappear. I had to navigate this entire game without, without freaking lands. Well, they can't kill us, especially through this lifelinker. Then we have Fairy Vandal Make Disappear up. And then we're going to make, make another 3-3. Three, three. Why Vandal instead of Underdog? It was in the 7-1 list and we're trying it out. Bankbuster, sure. Fable. Do I care about Fable? No. I just care about herd migration and stuff. And like, big ol' spells. They can't... They can't attack through... Alright, so we go cut down this. Cast Fairy Vandal. And this gets pumped by the festivity. I think I'm just attacking with the Fairy Vandal. And if I attack for 4 here, it attacks for 5 next turn. No, 6 next turn, so I have to draw a card here. Oh, 
Oh, we drew a land. Yes. Nice. So they're dead to Fairy Vandal next turn. So I go... Land... Bank Buster, hold up, make disappear. And then I make a 4-4. Four, four. They discarded nothing. Which means they probably have drag at the bottom, yeah. Okay, that actually gets rid of everything. Right? Because it does minus six, minus six, since they have full... Jeez. Alright, sure. They're dead to Denet coming back from wedding? I mean, I mean, De Denek's not haste, but yeah. Haste crew buster, we can't get rid of the 1-1. One, one. If we draw a cut down for the 1-1, one, one, maybe. All right, let's draw a card with Bankbuster. Okay. They're still not dead to this, right? It's a 5-5? Five, five. But at least we can attack them and they're going to have to block. Wait. They're just dead to both busters, right? Unless they have Leyland Binding. Which they could definitely have. I think I'm going for it. They could also have Wandering Emperor. Her migration gains two life and they go to eight. Okay. Or three life, they go to nine. So they're actually not dead. But it means they couldn't actually play this her migration, which is still good for us. Draw a card off that. Yep. Okay, so if they have farewell, we can't counter it, but. I'm forcing them to have an answer now to the Flying Denic. They're digging. This would be a great game to win because we were missing a land forever. Drag to the bottom again. Okay, so they lose to Shieldred plus Make Disappear, right? Okay. Not anymore. They lose to... We don't have 8 mana. But we can do this. This. Get our Fairy Vandal back. Crew both busters. I have an extra, I have an extra draw to get to Rafine, so I think I'm keeping. Alright, how about draw a 4-drop? Do we like that? Gonna take this since Fairy Vandal's a little baby 1-2. There's a land. I think I'll ditch a redundant children. Because I might need make disappear for like their children and stuff. Rafine with Fairy Vandal means he gets two counters a turn, which is awesome, which means they can't cut down me anymore. They can Liliana though. They can Infernal Grasp, I guess. Well, that, that leaves Shieldred pretty good. Um, that's an attack. That is, that is, uh, an attack.
Get Cho Liliana out of here. Am I gonna get invoked spared? No, I'm not gonna get invoked spared because I'm gonna win before they invoke to spare. We go first. Denik. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. It's really painful, but we have lifelink. Okay, lifelink's gonna be very good here. I don't want to open myself up to getting lightning strike on the first Denik that we play. I'm gonna hold up Make Disappear here. Then we're just gonna jam wedding announcement and then hope to make disappear something else. We're gonna make disappear anything they play. They probably have a um, one mana spell, probably one mana creature. Yep. Land. That is not a land. I will have to pay life for every mana that I spend. <laughs> well. It's not looking too hot. I would love an untapped land next turn so I can go Denic hold up, make disappear for the lightning strike. Please don't cast mechanized warfare. They always have it, don't they? That's not mechanized warfare. It's just in a way worse than mechanized warfare. That is not an untapped land. Well, I guess I just have to cast this and hope I don't get lightning striked. This is where we are. Well, uh, on the bright side, it's not a lightning strike. They have three cards in hand and there are probably a lot of burn spells. Since they have not played a land for turn. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take two life. And I'm going to die. I could have attacked just to go to just to go to nine. Because they probably have, if they have like, any burn spells, I just lose. That kills my planeswalker. And also puts me to four. At least that can't kill us. Famous last words. Ouch. So you're saying there's a chance. If I cast shielded, it's scary, because if they have any way to deal with it, if they have like any four damage or five damage spell, I just insta lose to Monastery Swiss Beer. Is that true? Probably not true. I think I have to cast Shieldred. I guess I could get burned by if I give him a turn. Like this gains me life right away. This big gains life throughout the game. I have to pay a life for Emperor though. Then I'll gain two more life. Do, am I worried at eight life? I don't think I can die from eight famous last words. Oh, geez. That's four damage right there. Oh, gosh. If they have lightning strike, I lose. Ah. Uh... Okay, they don't have lightning strike. Ooh. Oh, Rafine. Woo! I gain more life if I attack with children, right? I'm at 13 now? Can I die? Each of these attack for three. Three, six, nine, twelve. I don't think I'm dead.
I don't think I'm dead. I think I'm at one. No, I'm not. At, I'm not at one. I'm at two. I'm at one. Yes. Woo! Woo! Keep. Alright, so we can go second Fairy Vandal. Plus cut down, and then Bankbuster draw a card, grow both Vandals. What are my thoughts on Fairy Vandal so far? I think it's good. Like, it, it, it it's it's fine. It's probably better than Ledger Shredder in this deck. Another Bankbuster. But Ledger Shredder's not played in this deck anyway, so... Weird that we have to do this play pattern here just to draw a second card. But next turn they won't be able to cut down these, so that's good. Please don't. Uh, if they cast shield, it's unfortunate. Hmm. Wow. Ooh, they didn't tap the foundry. Oh wow! Just double draw. Wow. That means they're desperate. Works very well with Bankbuster. Do I make disappear and cut down, or just like play a tap land? I think I'll play a tap land for now. It will suck if we ha if we're forced to make disappear something and sack the Vandal, but probably not. They're just gonna invoke despair now, get make disappear, and they're gonna die. That's what they were digging for. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. I guess we have to make disappear this. We don't. They're just gonna minus it. They're just gonna minus it. We can just attack it, no more and we could make disappear like a another two drop removal spell. What does menace ability mean or do? Um, usually, if, if a creature attacks, you can block it with any creature you have. Menace means you have to block with two, you have to block with two creatures or or more. You cannot block with one creature. So they're not dead yet. We can go AO. AO hold up cut down attack with Bankbuster. That's weird because they can draw from Bankbuster, make the one one, and crew before I can cut down. I'll just put them into a low life little. Is it just me or does the title say best of three? It what we did play best of three. But just not specifically right now. Just change it back to best of one. They're gonna plus Liliana, that's fine with me. I'll just discard this land. If they try to play a blocker, I'll cut down. If they try to block with Mr. Strange, I can cut down that. I'm gonna have to cut down this one one probably. Even though not really, because they're gonna just gonna crew with this bank buster. If they draw a card with this bank buster, it's really good for me. Um, AO, if it dies to their go for the throat, they can't infernal grasp anymore, which is the reason which is a reason to put them to two. Um If they kill my AO with go for the throat, I can get Shieldred, Wandering Emperor that kills them. I can get Fairy Vandal that kills them because I get it and then I draw a card with Bankbuster and that kills them. Another Liliana. They didn't even plus. Wow. Those who get in my way so if they, when they minus, I'm going I'm to kill my AO. Because at least this replaces itself. If, if they get any one of those cards in the top seven, I win. Uh, that counts.
So now they can't they can't draw a bankbuster anymore. So they can't make the one one anymore. Another Liliana. <laughs> okay, they minus they minus again, and I get rid of my fairy vandal. You're telling me what you know about the Raven Man. I could have crewed and got rid of Bankbuster, but it doesn't do anything. Nice. I go first. All we need this hand is a land, so I think I'll keep it. Is any land in the whole deck. Recruitment officer. Don't you love to see that deck on the other side of the table? That is, every time I want to land, I draw a 5-drop. Like, what is going on? Well, I guess I'm not getting what I want to get. So we are just going to pass. They're going to flash in their 2 one ones. Well, that's probably the best one, two, three in the game. In their deck. We're already dead. No point in playing that one out. All right, that's the uh, hand. Maybe Pinkie Pie. Oh my. They don't have a bounce spell. Oh, whoa. Okay, I got more confused. They have a removal spell? Please don't have a counter spell. Wishful thinking. Multiple swamps. Liliana? Nope. At least these are going to come in handy against the threats. Pass. So they are playing blue black delver with no delvers and a lot of basic lands. Go for the throat. It died. This plays around Make Disappear, and then I can go for the Throat or Destroy Evil, one of their plays. Dissipate. Ooh, that gets exiled. Ouch. This is why you don't play AO. So now we can play around it, so I'll just cast Stenic. That, that was a really good draw, that land. Now they have to, like, dissipate this again. Urtai Resurrected. Then I encounter it, and give me a draw. We take those. I mean, I don't want to land, but here we are. Probably should have go for the throw to it then, so they can't bounce it back to their hand. I don't care about this Urtai, though. But I do care if they bounce it back to their hand, so let's see if they have it. Alright, this plays around another Make Disappear. Since you, we drew that untapped land. They don't have it. Now they remove the AO, and at least we get value out of it. Emperor can get rid of Urtai. Shildred's just broken in general against this matchup. But I honestly think I like Wandering Emperor more. Because it's just more creatures over time, and they're playing removal spells. And I am guaranteed to get rid of this card. So I can't bounce it back to their hand. Ooh. 
Land Thirst. That's an interesting play. If the slip out the back and siphon in sight. Well, that's an awful draw. Let's draw a card first. See if we get a creature that we can put a one-one counter on. That is not a creature we can do that with, but I can put a one-one counter on nothing, I guess. Show them how we greet our enemies. They are not using this main phase. Cast Urtai. Destroy Wandering Emperor. Ouch. I guess that's well, drawing Shieldred's pretty broken. Just have to hope they don't counter it. They probably won't, though. Because, like, what two mana counter spell can counter this? No one's playing Essence Scatter. Now we have to draw another removal spell. They actually drew it, did they? They could bounce Urtai. Okay, they're gonna try to draw one of my removal spells, like destroy evil or whatever. Maybe they play Wedding. Rafine. Okay, we can kill that. I don't know why they played the land. Can't they just attack with Urtai and then loot if they wanted to? Actually, Urtai, Rafine's super bad for them to have. Like, really bad. I wouldn't be surprised if they just chump with Rafine. Alright, they're almost dead. They're almost dead. Because if they attack at all, they lose. Basically. I'm going to wait till they feel comfortable attacking, and then I'm going to destroy Evil of Shieldred. And they're going to be super sad. Oh my, yes. Woo! Alright, I will put my opponent's sadness on the stack. Nice. All right, Jamers, thanks for watching. I did not go seven and one with this deck. We did lose twice to our opponent just having uh, Thalia, Guardian of Thraben on turn two. And then we had just either a bunch of Make Disappears or Wedding Announcements in our hand and also missed a land drop that we couldn't cast. But outside of that, we had a, a, a much more than positive win with this. Um, the match just seemed really smooth. Uh, uh, one thing that I would probably do is add a 25th land if this deck isn't already playing it, but I also didn't count it either. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 plus this. I don't know, you can count it at home if it's 25. I would probably play 25 or 26 land since we're trying to cast 4 drops and 5 drops on curve, and you usually want 25 or 26 in that case. But anyway, um, as far as Fairy Vandal is concerned, I kind of did like this. We didn't get to do like Fairy Vandal Kaido things, but Fairy Vandal plus Reckoner Bankbuster was very good. So if you want to try this out, I would recommend trying out Fairy Vandal for yourself. It got really huge in the games that we played, it was super good against Mono Black, and really good against that 5-color deck that we played. So anyway, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one, and as always, peace.